So the purpose of the second test this morning is to showcase the flexibility uh, of the liquid catalyst. Now we're looking and working with solid oil in coal shales. This is from South America. We're going to show that by bringing into contact pure liquid catalyst, this was the recovery of the original liquid catalyst from Suncor's feedstock. We're now going to reuse the same batch. We're going to bring in contact the South American oil shale with the liquid catalyst and raise the temperature gently. And when you see the surface tension of the liquid bubbling, it's not that the liquid catalyst is hot and vaporizing, it's actually extracting the, the tight gas from the, the oil shale. So we'll now add the components together. So we've added approximately 20 grams, 25 grams of rock. We're now going to add in the liquid catalyst to submerge the rock. You'll see initially there's discoloration to the liquid catalyst where it's starting to draw off some of the oil out of the pores of the rock. Now you're going to rest it on the hot plate, you're going to raise the temperature. And when we start to see the surface tension bubble, we're going to show, show that we can reduce and extract the trap tight gas. So original feedstock, liquid catalyst, discoloration of the catalyst already. Now as the temperature rises, it will start to off gas. So you can see within 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds, we're starting to release the tight gas from the solid rock. The temperature of the liquid catalyst is still cool. I can still pick up the glassware, hold my hand on it. There's no surface tension. Uh, sorry, uh, surface temperature to the glassware or the liquid catalyst. So we're getting a reasonable reaction now. Now you can see we're igniting the gas it's expelling. Now look how far away the flame is, so we're actually creating a jet of gas, approximately 50 millimeters to 60 millimeters from the tip of the, the valve. You can see that the flame of the lighter has been pushed to the side with the velocity of the gas escaping. You'll notice initially there's some soot coming off, which is because we haven't processed the gas. I'm just turning down the temperature slightly. It does not require a lot of heat to allow it to off gas. You can actually feel the jet of gas coming out. Now what we'll do is we'll remove the liquid catalyst. I'm just showing the paper moving. We're now going to remove the liquid catalyst from the hot plate. And show that over time the velocity of the gas being removed will reduce. And then I'll re-enter it onto the hot plate to show just how quickly the gas will pick back up again. So 
So again, you can see without wearing protective gloves, it's still cold to the touch. We've almost stopped the gas being removed, just some small trace amounts. You'll also see if you look closely through the liquid catalyst, you'll see submicron particles that was on the surface tension of the, the rock, the dust, been drawn off. Bubbles have now stopped. Put it back onto the hot plate. Within 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds, it's vigorously removing. I don't want to set off any alarms here in the lab, but I'll just show you that it is, it is the gas that's coming off and not vaporizing off the liquid catalyst. In the current testing that we're doing, where we're doing some mass balance equations, we're showing that this tight shale gas for 100 grams of feedstock we're continuously removing gas for a, in excess of two hours. And then once it stops to off gas, we are able to increase the temperature slightly and then we extract the oil. And again, I'll remind you what the oil looks like coming out of the, the tight shale rock from South America. By comparison, from the first test that we did in the video, here is the original feedstock clean sand, recovered oil. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to answering any technical questions.